studying artist flows, everything like that, started battling a little bit more. And then I just say I just went went real hard with it. And next thing you know it just came to where it just never leaves. Oh the music it had to be. It, it, it was it was nice. I definitely was stuck on Illmatic for a long time. I always, everybody always listened to Notorious and Tupac, but at the time I was young, I won't really listen to Pac and Biggie all deep. So I was listening to what was already out. So that's what I knew. I knew Pac is uh, California Love. I knew Biggie is, you know, like I love when they call me Big Pop, I, stuff like that. I ain't really go too deep with it because I won't into it like that. I knew Nas because Nas was just always, uh, at the time he was on BET, you know, it was with some hits and stuff like that. Uh, Everybody listened to Lil Wayne. I was on Lil Wayne for for a while, and it kind of got me to. I was I was on so many different people's uh, flows to the point where I kind of picked up from all of them. So I ain't like I just listened to Pac or I just listened to Biggie. I just listened. To, I listened to all of them. When I did listen to them, it was a season. So I listened to Nas. I'd be stuck on Nas for like four or five months. Then I switched to Pac, and then he was just the hottest. Then I listened to him for like three months. Then I switched up to Kanye. Stuck on Kanye for like six months and then I just phased through all of them it got to the point where I was it was a Gucci man I even got to a point I like that got to a point with Young Jeezy I was listening to all that so I just got attached to each flow and then uh actually learned from it learned from a lot of that as far as cadences and as far as like uh content to talk about the message that come across so then you actually see a difference of, of the different formalities of uh, of art when you're getting on the beat Cole, Cole, I respect him, man. I respect him as a as a as a person, not just as an artist, but as a person, because he comes with a message. But what what separates me from them is, I've, I've been compared to Cole. I've been compared to Cole. I've been compared to uh, sometimes some people compare me to Drake. Some people they compare you to to anybody, but uh, the thing is, if they compare you to somebody that's on that level, that already tells you what level you could be on. So just them comparing me to Cole sometimes and everything, you know, I laugh about it like, yeah, you know, I like Cole. But then at the same time, I look at it as like, okay, if you can compare me to to Cole and he already made it, especially at the point that I'm at, and I ain't even close to as close as where to to where he is with uh, the success, then that lets me know that I I can be on that level or I'm already on that level. So that's the best thing about hearing some of that. 
man, the, the thing that makes me different is you come with a side to where, just like any artist, they 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 grind real hard when they don't have it. When before they make it, they they grind real hard. They tell the stories that you want to hear, and it comes it comes natural to the point to where when they make it, they tend to drift away from that hunger they had. So that's what drive what drives me different is the things that make me hungry is the things I make I make it happen. They always tell me this man told me the the moment that you get comfortable you should get uncomfortable. Hmm. And the moment that you get comfortable the more the moment you're uncomfortable you should get comfortable. So what that means is the moment that you're comfortable with the position that you're in, right? The the, the moment soon as you get comfortable you should do something to make yourself uncomfortable. You should you should put so much on your plate to where you uncomfortable now. Cause then when you uncomfortable, you grinding because you're like, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do this photo shoot. I gotta get ready for this mixtape. Then I gotta get ready for this album and this video shoot. And you got so much on your plate to where you don't even have time to yourself. You ain't got no time for sleep. That's why I call the mixtape light sleep heavy dreams. It's light sleep. I ain't getting that much sleep, but the dreams are so heavy. So then, and then the moment that you uncomfortable, you should get comfortable again. So as soon as you got everything on your plate just like that, you should automatically be knocking it out to the point to where, okay, you get comfortable again because you already got in the rudiments of how you doing that right there. So then when you get comfortable, you just get uncomfortable by adding more to your plate and that keep you going. And that's what makes me, I feel like that's what makes me different with a lot of artists. I'm, I'm very down to earth. I'm, I'm very down to earth and I'm very seldom with the people that listen to my music. That's why I gave out the mixtape like I did by hand, handing it to people and delivering it to them because I'm letting them know that I'm, I'm speaking everything into existence. I'm gonna be that person that you, that the people doubt that you're gonna be. I'm already that, but not, not am I gonna drift away from what made me who I was, but I'm gonna always come to you face to face. I'm gonna always be the same person that you used to always see. I'm gonna still be in the hood. I'm gonna still be in the city. I'm gonna still come to the same house up there on the hill to see Pops. I'm gonna still do the same thing. I'm, I'm gonna be an artist that you know. I'm not gonna be somebody you listen to and you never see in your life. You're gonna see me because you and you're gonna be able to tell me what you think about the music, mm. and I hear it face to face, and that's what's going. That's what that's what change, that makes a lot in an artist. That makes a lot, just like meeting Cole, getting invited down there and going to his crib and listening uh, to the album a, a month, a week before it came out. I wasn't supposed to be there, but for somehow, somehow I got on the, I got on the, I just went. Next thing you know, they was like, "Come on, made it like two minutes before they was leaving to his crib." That was awesome, but it was also something telling me like, "Go down there, go down there," and I'm like, "Nah." I gotta stay for this turn up tonight, man. So I then I skipped the turn up and I just went down there like, yo, I'ma just hand on the mixtape. If there's a crowd of people, I'ma just hand on the tape and that's it. Just go spit a verse, whatever. And then I was just gonna leave. But then when I get down there, it was a whole. It's like God had something totally different set up. Mm. He had he had. I when I thought I was gonna get this much with just handing the tape and spitting a verse, he had this much set up. So I show up and then it won't even what I thought it was. No block party, none of that. Just a police officer on the street, and he was like, "They not parking here. They parking at the recreation center because there's too many people." I was like, "Okay, that makes sense. It's about to be like a thousand people. That makes sense." So I five minutes away, I go to the recreation center. I pull up there. It's only like two cars. I'm like, "Ain't no way, J Cole down here." And it's only like two cars at the recreation center. Nah, somebody was beside me in one of the cars, and I rolled down the window, and his two girls had just got in his car. And I said, "What's going on in there?" He said, "Uh." They just told my girl and her friend they weren't on the list, so they had to leave. I told I thought it was a block party. He was like, I did too. So I said, I'll go in here and see what's going on. I walk in. I already know he said listening session. So I walk in, and then it was a sign that said listening session this way. I walk in, it's like 10 guys sitting on the bleachers, two women at the tables with paperwork. And they asked me, they said, what you doing? They said, how you doing? How can I help you? I said, I'm here for the listening session. She said, what listening session? I said, the album. She said, what album? I said, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. She was like, no, it's 2014 Forest Hills Drive. I was like, the same damn thing. <laughs> so then uh, she started laughing. Then she asked me my name. I said, I told her my name. She grabbed the list. But when she grabbed the list, dog, and like something told her, don't even look at the list. It's like she grabbed it and just like sat it back down and didn't even look at the list. It was like, give me your wrist and put the wristband on. And then as soon as I sat down, I asked the dude, what time are we supposed to be leaving? He was like, they said we was going to leave at 9.05. At and then I look at my clock and it was, it was 10, it was 10, it was 10.10 10 at the time. Mm. So they was, they was already an hour behind. 
And then next thing you know, the lady was like, let's go, let's line up to leave. And that was 10, 13. I made it like three minutes before they was leaving. Mm -hmm. Only not supposed to be there. Went to his crib. We ended up listening to the album and everything. Crazy thing is, I couldn't take my phone in there. So I, I don't got a picture to prove the shit. I can't prove it with a picture or none of that. But mm -hmm. I just, I know, I know, I know what happened. So went in there and then uh, we listened to the album. That was real good. And then uh, he came in at the, during the outro. That's when I had spoke to him. That's when I spoke to him and everything. Came in with some Krispy Kreme donuts and some milk. And that's when I spoke to him and everything. Let him know how he motivated me with the music and stuff like that. Everybody was on a fan level except for except for me. I was talking like, you don't even know who I am right now, you know? You don't even know. That's you don't make you different from a lot of people. Exactly. That makes you a lot different. And you'll actually, you'll, you'll, you'll stand out. Because they'll be like, well, who he, he know he talking to Kanye? And you'll still be talking like you talking to somebody down the street, yeah. so it'll make you stand out a lot. Yeah. So I stood out because as soon as he came in, me and him kicked it and talked for like five minutes. I and mean, everybody else was just silent, just listening. So then I had to actually like fall back. I had to actually like, but I'm done talking, I'm gonna let everybody else talk. And then they start talking, they started saying reckless shit like, what shoes you got on? What shirt is that? Nobody don't give a damn about your man. Nobody give a damn about his shoes, man. Or they asked, like, what was your favorite part about the album? And they can't even name shit that, like, they just sat there and listened, but they won't really listen. Okay. So then I'm, I'm telling them, like, yo, this line, this line was hard. I like this line. What did you mean by this? My favorite song was, was this one, the song, the chorus. And then he started singing it, too. So then that let them know I was already into what was going on. So then sat on the couch, and then I let them have the floor. They start talking all their questions and stuff about what they was asking. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, at the end, I was standing there, and I had the whole time, I had my mixtape in my back pocket. They didn't see that. I brought that in there. And uh, mm. uh, his right-hand man, I had already knew, because just from looking at the dreamville.com and stuff like that, I had seen his right-hand man already on the internet, so I knew that was his right-hand man. So I, I, I peeped over to him, and I was like, oh, can I give him my tape? And he was like, go ahead. And that's when I just waited till it died down to when we was leaving. I just hopped there, the last person. And then, you know, somebody had to hop behind me because they wanted to be the last person, but it didn't really make a difference. We walked up, and that's when I shook his hand and stuff, and I gave him the tape. So I'm just putting it in and let it play. It'll be more than worth his time. He was like, yeah, got no mathematics. Skeletons in my closet. One of the realest artists. Sick of seeing my mama struggling to pay this mortgage. Run the streets like a faucet on. Can't see me, I'm probably gone. What's up, my molly corn? More bitches than college dorms. Just trying to make it. Fuck them niggas who hating. Motivated by paper. True religion that makes it. Side, 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 side.